I'm going to see if I can do a little video um, to go along with the last one I just posted to show how she has been behaving this morning. Um, generally she's been good, has been at my heel a lot of the time. But she has wanted to run up ahead. Jim, wait, wait, wait. She has wanted to run up ahead a few times. And because we're stalking, I've had to give her a, a bit of a hiss. Um, a bit of a, a quiet command to get her back behind me. As I said on the previous video, we've, she hasn't been out for a long time, probably six or seven weeks, and she's been on a lot of dog walks, so she's been she's had the freedom to run up ahead. And so this is a bit of a um, back to basics training session to try and get her to differentiate the difference between stalking and a dog walk. Um, so we'll see how she behaves when we set off and you'll just see warts and all her sort of natural behaviour. Okay, tiny gem, gem in. I'll try to film her if she's behind me or on my heel, but it's not difficult, it's not easy. Um, but I'll do the best I can. Gem, gem in. position my my knife and my gun because you could probably hear there my gun stock was rubbing up against the knife I find this is a problem with these kydex sheaths sometimes they're a little bit noisy um, compared to a leather sheath if the rifle is rubbing up against them but we'll uh, just move that round so reposition that can you One of the hardest things to train, to be honest. It might not look much, but it is. And uh, she's she's coming on. She's doing quite well. 